value of whatever um, the input is. So input i, right? So like I said before, um, if the imp if the input here, if this value is equal to zero, it'll um, you know get whatever that temp value is set for zero or whatever. It's a bit abstract, but hopefully you guys will get it. Anyway, um, back to here. A um, equals make. We're gonna change it up again, right? At random intervals, we're gonna change the encryption. And because of the seed, it's not actually that random, so we can still decrypt it. Just uh, to point that out. And we're also going to change the split again to equals to equal new random. So the main thing is just um, you know remember the order. You need to know this order of how every, uh, how you did everything. Um, in order for the decryption. <coughs> so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and test this. I have no idea if this will work right away. So um, string put post file. System.io, don't forget that. Put um, read all text. Just going to add a file here to the project item. Yaddy yaddy. Text file one. This is to encrypt. So I just want to make sure it doesn't bug out. So text file one dot text. Right. Um, don't really have to do read all uh, text. You can also do all bytes. It'll save a step. Um, I'm just going to use text because I I want the text to show in the in the example, and um, we're going to use that uh, function. So bytes input array equals string to byte array. Input, and that's one of the functions I just copied and pasted from one of my older ones. Um, say byte out put equals encrypt, right? And then we put in the input. So input array, because we're it's the byte array, and then um, uh, string to byte array actually. So we're going to be doing this more than once. Byte pass array equals string to byte array. Sorry. Yeah, string to byte array pass. Right, and then we're going to get an output. And I'm just going to say console dot write line. So the only problem with having it in um, bytes is it's going to be slightly slower um, if you if you're going to be using it in the same program, whatever, than if you were to make it specifically for that uh, that um, one data type. But it's going to save a hell lot of you know it's going to save a lot of programming time. So um, byte rate string quotes put. So input calls uh, right and console dot read line. Just wanna do this to um, make sure we have no bugs, no nothing crashes, yaddy yaddy. Mm, could not find file, whoops. Come on. Up here. Stop debugging, come on. Come on, come on. Okay, it doesn't like me right now. Copy it. Snore. Yaddy yaddy. And 
Oh, I forgot something. Accounts. I think I got carried away. Because we're using the count value, you have to add it. And... 256. Uh, it should be 250. Yeah, yep. Uh, probably got a mistake there. Let's see, it's probably, no, not stuck there. Let's see where is it stuck. Okay, and what the fuck is going on with my keyboard? Stop debugging. Okay, so that gets called. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whatever. And I probably come on, stop the fucking thing. Okay, I don't know what the fuck's going on with um the keyboard here. It's not accepting the hotkeys, so it's going to take a while. There we go. <coughs> oh, and I'm brain dead again. Okay, there you go. You got some output. Looks like a load of crap. All right, this is the crap to encrypt. Dot, dot, dot. What's that? So, it worked. Right. Now we're just going to copy this and we're going to reverse what we did. So decrypt. <coughs> so we're going to basically all we got to do is change the encrypt array to make um to make a decryption array, right? Make decrypt array. Um, I think I'm just going to be lazy here and do this byte um, encrypt byte equal right and then um, bytes get bytes equals new bytes come on, there we go I need to change the development environment this is a bitch So we're just going to loop through this for um, yeah. So for int i equals zero, i is less than one. Plus, plus. I'm going to say um, bytes i equals i. I think that's right. No, that's wrong. There we go. Right, so um, just let me think about this here. So, um, values switch Yeti, okay, whatever, close enough. Okay, there we go. So, I'm going to go here, and we're just, this is decrypt, so make decrypt array. I'm just going to swap that out, and it should reverse it all. So, um, I'm just going to decrypt 
decrypt. Come on, come on. De there we go. Doesn't like me today. Pass. Alright. Let's run it. Right. String. Come on. String. Sorry, bite. Array to string. There you go. You got encrypted and decrypted. <coughs> and it works with white space and you know whatever. Just do some random shit to verify that actually works, right? Mm. Okay, now I can't find the equal sign. <laughs> Uh, whatever. So as you can see, it works. That's uh, basic encryption for you. There are other more complex methods, like you can just swap the values instead, like just scramble it instead of really encrypting it, which is changing the values. Um, scrambling, you have to be a bit careful though, because you're not actually changing the values. So um, you have to scramble it well in order for it to work. Um, scrambling is actually I know it's actually probably a bit more CPU intensive than this if you were to use this encryption method without the random splits in it. But yeah, hopefully you guys understood at least half of this crap. Um, sorry if I made a few mistakes. I didn't actually, you know, pre-write this. I wrote this right here on the spot. So, um, yep, hope you guys learned something.